G'day YouTube and welcome to a new series called Living in the Life of with Matt and Bladder Extrophy. Um, I thought to start doing this as a idea for people that live with bladder extrophy, parents that have children with bladder extrophy or something like that to come and watch some vlogs about the life, uh, living in the day of what bladder extrophy is and all that and show you what I get up to on a normal daily basis. Um, like I said, I was born with bladder extrophy myself. I'm 30 years of age. I live in Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. And living with bladder extrophy for me has been a struggle at times. And going through school was not fun. Um, I was bullied a lot, made fun of, um, I had my pants pulled down on me and revealing my pad slash nappy on, which was not a nice thing to happen. Um, Yeah, not fun. But that's just some of the sad side of things, you know. Living with this is sometimes annoying. And I tell you guys, yes, it's a struggle. It's a roller coaster ride. And yeah. It's not fun sometimes. I know there are going to be, like, people that I know, family members or other people I know, are going to say that there are a lot of people worse off than me, and I've lived quite an easy life, and... But, in a way, yes, it's easy in, at times, but I tell you, some of the stuff I've gone through is not fun. And I was talking to my urologist the other, about a couple of months ago about things, and he goes, how never ever say that you haven't gone through a lot, because you have, and you shouldn't put yourself down. You know, you have gone through a rough time and you know it's something that you're going to live with for the rest of your life which is true you know self catheterization is not fun at times but needs to be done to empty my bladder because I'm not able to pass urine through the penis like a normal person and sometimes that really really bugs me that I can't sometimes live a normal life like that and that's the hardest thing sometimes to just relate um, you know and when you when I self catheterize sometimes I just think why do I have to do this but I have come to conclusions that <coughs> it has to happen and there's no way going back and all of that um yeah next year um i'm going into hospital to have my dorsal cordy repaired which is something that i've always wanted repaired for a very long time if you guys don't know what that is it's the upward curvature of the erect penis it goes up to the abdomen and it's painful, annoying, and yeah, I'm getting that fixed and apparently my urologist is going to be keeping me in hospital for a few days after the surgery 
and yeah I'm gonna vlog when I'm in hospital about it and keep you guys posted um, yeah um, if you want to see more videos like this about my bladder extrophy or people that are out there with the condition or something I making these for you as well um so yeah this is a new mini series that i'm going to start like i said it's going to be re re related around my bladder extrophy and the community out there in the wide world and i hope to have um some fun with it um, I'll document as much as I can with it and I'll explain a lot more stuff eventually and yeah I will keep you posted on that and I will start a new playlist and I will share that onto Facebook and try and get it started as much as I can and yeah if there's anything you'd like to know more about just let me know i'm happy to discuss and i will talk more about living with it with bladder atrophy and i will also try and describe what it's like as a um sufferer with the condition and what it's like to be an Australian with it. Yeah. Oh well. Give me a thumbs up, likes and comments and I will keep this series going and start this off as a new series. I will see you guys in the next video and like I say, keep one foot forward, the other one in the middle. If something happens, you can step back. I'll see you guys later.